But I bet more than the tech, you're also nervous because you've got that little voice in the back of your head, that little voice that says, you know what? You don't get to start a podcast. Podcasting is for other people. You don't have anything to say, right? There's nothing you have to say that's worthwhile. Nobody would want to listen to you. And that voice, it's really powerful. It's really compelling. That little voice at the back of our head that just says, mm -mm, this isn't for you. You don't get to do this. That's, that's for somebody else smarter than you. That's for somebody else more talented than you, more educated than you. And overcoming that resistance, that's the whole game. Well, this is, I could talk about anything? And audio editing software looks confusing and, and RSS feeds are confusing and you just go, ah. Like, like, so I like, I went to the store and like, there was this like, like be yourself is bad advice. All right, so basically the idea here is you just don't wanna do too much. Don't crank this up. One way to think about it is podcasting is a very intimate medium. Just having it off to the left or to the right is gonna mean that those puffs of air shoot straight past the microphone. Diction and enunciation. Pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. Right, the way you talk to your buddy is different than how you talk to your boss. Every single song you've listened to in your entire life was written with the same 12 notes. Maybe your favorite podcaster talks like this, and this is a very radio sounding voice. Feels like everything's already been said, but it hasn't been said by you. Choose a topic. We need to come up with a title. Plan out our first episode. Find your voice. Recording our first episode. And we do a little bit of editing. We touch it up, we clean it up, we get rid of the mistakes, and that's it. You've done it. You created and launched your podcast in a week or less on no budget. My name's Brian Miller. I'm a former professional magician turned author, speaker, coach, and consultant on human connection. And I have a background in audio engineering. Here's where I'm supposed to make sure you know I have a famous TEDx talk, but like, honestly, that was luck. My podcast, on the other hand, that was intentional. No, it doesn't get millions of downloads. It's not making top 100 lists across the globe. Through my podcast, I've made personal connections with legends and some of my heroes. I've built a deep relationship with my audience and increased the value of my coaching and other programs. But most importantly, I've honed my ability to see the world and contribute my perspective to a global conversation. Your life experiences are completely unique to every other single human being on planet Earth.